If there are any remaining members of the Resistance, then... I pray that this reaches you safe. I have infiltrated the San Paulo Power in an effort to find the truth. Their transport is complete, and they plan to harvest the human race within a month. We must implement aggressive force before it's too late. Attack San Pablo Power. Destroy it. It's the main hub. Must So yeah, Caleb's been making movies since he was eight years old. Mom and Dad gave him the old video camera and he never put it down. We'd make like action movies and horror movie spoofs. <laughs> it'd be like it'd be like me, him, his friend Brett, and maybe a few kids from the neighborhood. No, there's no way, Tommy. I saw you get hit by that car. You're dead. Your funeral's tomorrow. I know. I'll be there. He made me work the camera for all of it. Mostly because he wanted to star and he never trusted anybody else with the camera. <laughs> Caleb was very demanding with all of his projects. Like, taking it too seriously and stuff. All he wanted to do was make a movie. But... I think it was hard for him to keep that focus and that energy and grow up all at the same time. Hey Caleb, how long is this movie going to take anyway? Uh, six weeks. Here's what they call sheets. This is a lot of work. It, I can't put in this much time. I've got SAT preps, I've got... Relax. When school starts, we'll cut down the weekends. Seriously, man. Goofing around on weekends is one thing, but... Come here, come here. Take this. There you go. Okay. Where's your glove? I'll be there when I can, but no promises, all right? Come on, this is a full-length feature production. You should feel fortunate you're on the ground in my feature enterprise. <laughs> Dude, get over yourself. Before I forget, there's some business I have to transact. It's both a pleasure and an honor. Dang, how many pools did you clean? Uh, four last weekend. Twenty dollars a pop. What the hell? That's easy money. Hey, Grandpa, I went in on some of this. If you recall, Mr. Lucas, I offered you a position in Arizona Pools by Halsey last April. I believe your stated preference, at least at the time, was to lounge by a pool, rather than clean it. All right, time for cake. Come on, everybody. Have a seat, birthday boy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Caleb. Happy birthday to you. Welcome to the Homeless George Productions weblog, August 3rd, 2013. Today is a red letter day for us as we have acquired the total funding to begin principal photography for our latest motion picture, The Human Fields. In other words, BAM! 
Green light, baby. I clean pools for my grandpa all freaking summer to raise $2,000 that I can put into this film. Next step, the hardware store for an equipment run. Then it's in the next four weeks here and at school shooting until we get the big office location. <sighs> Man, I can't wait to get this on the can and have a big premiere. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be huge. This is going to be awesome. Hey, falling asleep, old man? No, no. Just resting. You having a, you having a good birthday? <laughs> yeah, I literally got everything I wanted. You make that movie thing? Yep, passed all my classes, as was the deal. What's it about? It's about a kid who moves to a new town and finds out aliens are controlling the <clears throat> world. Tell them aliens I gotta get people buying American cars again. Oh, shit. I gotta take this. Hey, boss. What's up? Oh, God. Let me talk to them. Hey, Mom. Hey, Caleb. Have you seen Grandpa? I think he went out back to take a call. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Hey, shut that up. We're having a party, okay? Yeah, I know. I'm just getting some behind-the-scenes footage for the making of part of my movie. You know, about that, I don't know if that's such a good idea. You know as well as I do that your grades weren't exactly up to snuff last year. Hey, I had a solid B average, thank you very much. Yeah, with a C- in Spanish, which you only managed by doing extra credit. Come on, you have to admit, doing a Spanish subtitle for my Halloween video was an awesome idea. <clears throat> I'm serious. Okay, look, I'll only do it on weekends, and I'll be done by October. The thing is, you're going to have more responsibility around here. My promotion's coming around, and I won't be around- Hey! Wait, where are you going? I have to go to work. What? It's your day off! I know, I just- I have to go. You don't have to go! The, don't make me feel like shit. It's not like I want to go to work on my day off. So don't go! It's money out of my pocket. I don't have time to argue It's with your you. son's birthday! You I'll can't go and I'll come right back! For one day? Oh, fine. <laughs> Caleb, shut that off. Come on, lie off, Dad. He needs this deal. Please just stop the back talk and shut it off. But I wasn't back talking. Just shut it off! Fine, fine. Just put everything in the crate after we check it off. All right, so we've got clamps, 20-watt bulbs, 60-watt bulbs, the tripod, and uh, um, what are these for? You cut up the folders to make gels. Use the white and gray ones to cut the light. Well, and the blue and orange ones, well, they make the light blue and orange. Oh, uh, did you make the dial like I asked? Oh, I figured we could use this. Please tell me you're not serious. Okay, come on. Get in. How's it look? Wow, awesome. Smooth and so Ah, no! Get me out of this thing. Fine, no dolly today. Just get me set up by Friday. I'm gonna need it for the trekking shots outside the school. What do you mean by Friday? I mean we shoot again on Friday. I told you last week. No, you never did. You just told me that you need me sometime this week and you let me know. All you said was today. What's so important that you can't help me out on Friday? Got me a hot date. Oh, come on, Amanda. Really? We haven't even started filming yet and you're already flaking out. I'm not flaking out on you. It's my girlfriend's birthday. If you're not going to be committed to this, just say something and let me know. Just say the freaking word! I never did commit to this. I've got stuff to do and I'm doing you a favor. Okay, fine. Just get me through today and talk Friday. Wait, now? Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Morgan Jensen. I play Mrs. Coombs in the Human Fields. I met Caleb when I applied to uh, audition for his film. I didn't know how young he was when I applied. The funny thing is though, I've done local theater and a ton of commercials, but Caleb's directing style is very professional. Sometimes even better than the adults I've worked with. He, he's very passionate about what he does. And if he decides to stick with this, I think he could have a nice career in the arts. Caleb's greatest attribute, well, other than his near-obsessive love of movies, is that he really, 
He really cares. He cares about those he's close to. Thank you for having me here, Mrs. Combs and Mr. Combs. You're welcome, Keith. Glad to see Rick starting to make friends at school. Yeah, he's cool. So, Keith, how long have you and your parents lived here in Hayden Springs? A couple years. I moved here with my aunt and uncle after my parents died. I'm so sorry. Must be rough going through all that change. It is. I never really felt like home here after my parents died. What do you mean, son? All the kids are stuck up. Not everyone, but a lot. It's the cliques mm -hmm. and their parents. They like work for city council, the police, the power plant. Yeah, I, I work at the power plant. Have you gone to the secret meetings? Mm -hmm. My aunt and uncle go every Saturday night. And they bring like blueprints and computers. I really don't talk about what happened. Jim, do they have something like that at the plant? Um, yeah, yeah, I, I just got a letter the other day, and it's about some team building meeting that we're going to have. Hello, I'm sorry, I don't know my life. <laughs> okay, cut. That was good, everyone. All right, so Morgan, Alan, you guys are set. When we leave, I want you guys to just watch us leave. Maybe a little concerned. Mm -hmm. Brett, we're gonna walk right through this door. We're gonna pass the camera right about here, and Lucas will follow us. You sure about that? I think it'll work. It'll work. Lucas, follow me. Can you see? Uh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna walk right through this door. Yeah, maybe you're right, Lucas. We might have to cut. Hey. Hey. Um, is my mom here? I don't know. Is that you, Megan? Yeah. Hey. Hey, honey. Um, are you guys about done? Uh, yeah, I think so. Caleb, how much longer do we have? Uh, about 20 minutes or so. Okay. You want to hang out? Yeah, we got soda, coffee, some bagels if you're hungry. Uh, I'll take a soda. Oh, uh, sure. Go on in. Hey, how does this look? Beautiful. Really? You want to bang into the door? Oh, what? Oh, no. Like crap. Refried crap. Uh, let's go through this again. Sure. You okay? Yeah. Let's do this. I'm seriously, we're almost done? Yeah, sorry I'm taking so long. It's okay. You know what? Actually, we're doing pretty darn good. I think we're making a hot lot of headway. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your efforts and sticking with me. I promise we can get this done. All right, so Morgan, I'm gonna put you right on the spot okay. after you leave. All right, so what's gonna happen is that we are. Hey guys. Really? Hi, Mom? Mrs. McKenzie. Hi, Brett. What's going on? Whose cars are parked out there? What? What are you doing? Mom, I told you I would have some people over for the movie. Yeah, a couple people, not this. Did you know about this? I'm just running the camera. Mom, please, just give us 20 um, minutes and we'll wrap the scene. Caleb, I'm tired. I need this place cleared out now. Turn off the camera. Mom, please. Lucas, turn it off. Hey, so, gonna give you a quick update. It's our first week shooting and there are some schedule problems. Brett was an hour late and now my mom says no production in the house. Unless if it's on weekends and it's supervised. But considering that I almost got shut down, it's a minor victory. I can go right through it, no big deal. The real trouble though will be doing some special effects, makeup. Oh god. Is it this time? about everything. Oh my god, Jared, I am so done with this argument. What? So you're just gonna leave now? I'm going to the store. If you want me to leave, just say the word. Look, 
I am, I'm going out. If you don't want me to leave, you better come up with a damn good reason for me to stay. I should be done by Christmas, and, uh, so should they. So, Amanda, what are your intentions for a young Lucas? I don't have intentions. So basically, when you break up and Lucas spirals into depression, you'll be the reason for the next 20 years why Lucas blew it and is working at a plus-size store for women. Guess what? You're walking home. Actually, I met your mom. She loves me. I think deep down you're the one who's threatened. Whatever. No, really. You haven't said two words to me before today. I think that you think I'm stealing your brother away. No. College will be doing that soon enough. Ah, so the clock is ticking on your precious time together. In a sense, I'm robbing your childhood. Amanda's gonna be a psychologist. The only thing you're robbing me of is my cameraman. And possibly my appetite. I'll tell you what. I won't interfere with your movie if you promise not to treat me like the enemy. Deal? Deal. On one condition. And what is that? You have to help me with the craft service expense. What? He wants you to pay for lunch. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, and a coffee afterwards. I need something cold to drink while I work on Morgan's pool. For Christ's sake, Caleb, can't you just- Jesus, hottest freaking day of the year. So I got the school location this weekend. I got the location for free because Miss Jensen works there and I put her in the cast. It's a special needs school, privately run. Kinda nice to have a smaller, intimate place to deal with. All I gotta do now is use some of this pool money on pizza for the crew, and then clean up after we leave. And then, I'm gonna clean Morgan's pool. Small price to pay for an actual school location. Hey, you about done? Uh, yeah, I just gotta clean up my gear and I'll get out of your hair. Cool. Uh, hey, do you mind heading out through the gate? I gotta leave soon. Uh, sure. This is gratis, so you don't need to sign anything. Thanks. Hey, what are you doing here? Cleaning the pool. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm here working. I'm here to pick up Megan. You guys going out on like a date? It's just a movie. We'll see what happens. We should probably go. Sure. Uh, bye, Caleb. Thanks for locking up. See you on set next week. 7 a.m. call time. Don't be late as usual. Nice hat. <laughs> So, Brett, what's it like to be an actor? It's really fun, dude. Are you really going to make this into a movie? Well, it's only going to be like 15 minutes, but I will put it on the web. You looking to be a star? I don't know. Get ready, my friend. We're going to keep making movies. One day, we'll do a feature. Full 90 minutes with gunfights and explosions and everything. Man, this is going to be awesome. Oh god, this tastes freaking awful. Where'd you get this? I got the super quick down the road. Oh, it tastes super disgusting, seriously. It's like they used a lint trap to brew it, and then cracked in it. Are we about ready? We've been standing around for an hour. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lucas, how are the lights coming? Looks good through here. Alright then. Laces, everyone! All right, guys, you about ready? Uh, we're just coming in through here, right? Uh, yep, you got it. All right, Lucas, record the rehearsal, please. And action. You're gonna have to rewipe balance. How does this battery look? Some power, but not a lot. All right, where's the closest power? I want to charge that other battery. By the library? Okay, I'll go charge it. You rewipe balance, and we'll get shooting before this battery dies. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> I'm trying to think of what's going on. We're filming a movie, that's what we're doing. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be home. Really? 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 I'm going to be on the browser. Yeah, this will work. Yeah. My information? What is this? Contact information. <laughs> phone number. I can't give it to you. It's my house phone. If your dad works for Sam Pable Power, maybe he can get us in. And we can snoop around or something. I don't know about that, man. Besides, we're talking conspiracy theory. Let's get real for a minute. You want to get real? 
My dad was a cop here in town. He was investigating a break-in. He caught the guy. He never really talked about what happened. A couple weeks later, my mom and dad went out and disappeared. I thought you said they died. Last I saw, <sighs> dropped me off at school, waved goodbye, never saw him again. Oh man, um, I'm sorry. The weird thing is that the warehouse burned down about a month later. But they came back to finish the job? Yep. Clearing out space for the power plant. So, how does the school fit into this? 